So I had some uh, guy on my Twitter last night say, what do you think about Kevin now? You beat a doormat of the division, a doormat of the NFL, the Cincinnati Bungles, a team that we humiliate every year. We own them. What do I think about Kevin? I'll tell you what I think about him. I think Kevin cost us five fucking wins this year. That's what I think about Kevin. Just because he beats the shitty Bengals, a team we beat every fucking year, I'm not giving him a fucking pass. He's responsible for the Ravens' loss. He's responsible for the Falcons' loss. He's responsible for the Patriots' loss. He's responsible for the Jets' loss. And he's responsible for the Chargers' loss. Those are five losses right there. We lost a lot of those games by like three and four or five, whatever points. That's coaching. And we should have even lost to the Panthers opening day. But listen, you're not only the offensive coordinator, Kevin. You're the fucking head coach. All these losses are on Kevin. What did I think of him yesterday? Having Amari Cooper throw the ball when he's never thrown a football in his life? Stupidest call ever. Just just give the game away, you jackass. That's why it was only 11 nothing in the first half. Um, second half, different story. He coached a great game in the second half. The best game I've seen him coach probably ever, honestly. Second half was the best he's ever looked. But, yeah, I'm not giving Kevin a pass. I mean, yeah, we beat the bank. Now, we all know. We look great. We're all pumped up. We got a fucking bye week. We'll go to Miami and get bludgeoned with Kevin Stefanski. That's just what that, that's what Kevin's capable of. So I'm not giving him a pass. The defense, why hasn't the defense played this way all year? Why, Kevin? Why did it wait till a primetime game in the Cincinnati Bengals and Joe Burrow? And by the way, speaking of the Bengals and Joe Burrow, without Jamar Chase, I've always told you guys, Jamar Chase is Joe Burrow. Without Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow's horrible. He's not even a viable quarterback. He has to prove to the NFL that he can play without Jamar Chase. Because as it looks now, he's horrible without Jamar Chase. And it's not even funny. I mean, he's, both those touchdown passes should have been interceptions. The first one the guy had in his hands, he dropped it. The tip by Emerson, I, I thought he'd intercept that. I thought, how did he not intercept that? And the second one, uh, Greedy Williams just jumped too late. And T. Higgins is a lot taller, so. But, yeah, Burrow played terrible. Terrible. I mean, the Browns did last night. They did a lot of stunning and uh, a lot of blitzing. They brought a fire blitz all night long, so. That's what you do, Joe Woods. Where was that defense all year? And we didn't let no one get behind us. Where was that fucking defense all year? So, yeah, I'm not giving Kevin a pass because I already know what we're capable of. We're capable of going to Miami and getting blown out. Also, um, we should have beat the Ravens. We should have beat all these teams. Honestly, our record legitimately should look, because I know in the NFL you're going to win some games and lose some games like that, but we lost all of them. You don't, good teams don't lose all those games. This is on coaching. Because in those games, those five games we should have won, we should probably have lost two of them, just say. That's how the NFL works. So we should be seven and two right now, or whatever the fuck a record is. We're three and five. We should be seven and fucking two right now. But thanks to Kevin Stefanski, we're not. I don't want to hear, uh, well, he doesn't have Deshaun Watson. No shit. He knows he doesn't have Deshaun Watson. Then why is he throwing around the yard all fucking game? All the game against Atlanta. All game against the Ravens. Why the fuck are you throwing around the yard if you don't have Deshaun Watson? Because he wants to show up. Look what I can do to Jacoby Brissett. Yeah, one game out of seven. Great job, Kevin. You beat a doormat, a team that we fucking historically beat up we own. So, yeah, I'm not buying into Kevin Stefanski yet. But I'm willing to give him a pass. And what I mean by that is if um if we beat the uh, Dolphins and go to four and five, it sucks when you think about it. We get it. If we beat the Dolphins, that'll be two straight wins. We're still four and five. That's how bad Kevin Stefanski is. In the weak-ass schedule we had the early part of the season, that's how bad Kevin Stefanski is. But I'm going to tell you something right now. The defense, the way it played yesterday, it's capable of playing that way every week. And it did last year. Maybe this is the time the defense gels like it did last year. And we start playing great defense like we did at the end of last year. And in that case, I'll tell you, why does it take so long for Kevin Stefanski's team's defenses to get so good? Joe Woods, why does it take you this fucking long? I mean, why? Why? I don't. So I can't give Stefanski a pass. I am pleased with the result, but like I said, we own the Bengals. If you're a Bengals fan right now, I don't even know if you beat the fucking uh, Carolina Panthers and P.J. Walker. You're not beating the Steelers, but I don't even think you beat Carolina. You're in trouble. The, the Bengals are in trouble. I didn't know Chase is out four to six weeks. I thought he was out maybe a couple weeks. You're in trouble because Joe Burrow's not what people thought he was. I mean, this guy, he even admits it. He's got three number one receivers. How hard is it to succeed when you got three number ones receivers? So the Bengals are in trouble. They're not a physical football team. They got punched in the mouth and they wilted. One thing I advise the Bengals to do is you got to start running the ball. You got to. Anyway, yeah, I'm not giving Stefanski a pass. I am pleased with the second half, though, I will say. The first half, here's what I, my problem with Stefanski. The first half, with like a two and a half minutes left in the end of the first half, first half it was, uh, we got the ball, and we we're going on the field, and it's like first and uh, whatever, uh, second and five, whatever, 
he starts rushing the line of scrimmage. You want to take as much time as the clock as you want so Cincinnati can get a chance to get downfield and kick a field goal or a touchdown. And they just did that, but McPherson missed the field goal. So I thought Stefanski coached the bad first half. But the second half, he actually made adjustments, and we won the game, shockingly, because usually he can't make adjustments. And the Bengals' defense only gave up no touchdowns in the second half all year until yesterday. We got three. <laughs> I'll make a separate video on Twitter about the Bengals, possibly later. Right now, I'm so fucking tired. From I'm just tired as fuck right now, so...